Hello everyone, welcome to Happy Unboxing NYC. My name is Olina and today we're gonna make with you this adorable set with I which I made from content of Bargain Beatbox for October 2021. In this set I used this amazing Jasper stones and the charms that we got in the Bargain Beatbox. And guys, today, as I said, we're gonna make this set, but if you want to buy the ready-made set i'm happy to introduce my etsy store and you can find there this set uh only one of a kind and the price will be 39 dollars so just give you this option if you're ready to bid with me today so let's get started for our project guys we're gonna need the following items we're gonna need our jasper beads that came in a bargain bead box um also we're gonna need our spacers they came with the same box as well we're gonna need this adorable in my opinion charms okay next items that we're gonna use from the bargain bead box is gonna be this um closure charm for bracelet for extension this is optional but you if you want it please you're welcome to do it and we're gonna need some chain so for our uh, i already pre-cutted my chain for our necklace we're gonna need i did again my necklace is approximately 18 inch so uh i already pre-cut uh seven and a half inch of seven and quarter inch of chain from each side you can go ahead into seven and a half or less depend on what lengths you want and you need two pieces of the chain also for your bracelet you can pre-cut um again depend on your wrist my wrist is big so i need big extension like about three inch if you want smaller you definitely can do smaller or yeah or it's optional or you or you can put just clasp and uh, just be without chain it's just up to you guys all right so let's get started the first thing we're gonna mm, make this element and it's gonna be beading element of the necklace and for this part we're gonna need our of course we're gonna need our beading wire i forgot to tell i already put my stopping um stopping bead and uh, again this part of necklace let's see guys mm, it's about it's about five and a half inch let me just show you so you you could see so it's five and a half inch so yeah you can pre-cut your uh, thread like eight or nine inch uh, I, I always like to give myself a little bit space okay and for bracelet you also need a cut uh, a thread beading wire uh, but again depend on your um, wrist side so mine uh, bracelet part beading part is half and half and a half inch so again i just made like seven eight uh, inches of uh, wire and um, as i said in previous uh, tutorial i use this bead alone I, I will show you what exactly i use so i use this one also guys we're gonna need some um pliers cutting plier uh, looping plier regular pliers also outside the bargain bit box we're gonna need following um, items we're gonna need our earring hooks i use gold field because first of all they will not tarnish so fast second they will not give allergy but up to you you can use uh, any uh, air wires you want next uh, we're gonna need a um, clasp it's a gold tone clasp I need it for bracelet also uh, we're gonna need uh, jump rings i like to use uh, five or six uh, millimeter jump rings also we're gonna need uh, um creams we need creams we need uh, a cream cover and we need the uh, wire protectors and i use everything in a gold tone so pretty much covered everything also we need two eye pins for our earrings and you can definitely use something short you don't need too too long eye pin all right guys so let's get started with the beading part of our necklace we're gonna make this pattern so to make this pattern we're gonna 
secure our thread and just let's get started. We take our uh, Jasper bead. Next, we're gonna put uh, spacer. Now we're gonna need another Jasper. And after this Jasper, we're gonna need such a pattern. Spacer. You know, some spacers this month, I don't know how about you, but mine don't have holes. For some reason, I have to clean them. <laughs> All right, guys, spacer. And then after the spacer, we're gonna put the charm. We take charm, put it up, and again, we cover with a spacer. All right, here we go. Now we put Jasper. And again, we're going to have spacer, another charm, another spacer, and another jasper. And again, so we're going to repeat this pattern seven times. Again, we have, we take our spacer, another charm. And the jasper is really pretty. Okay, almost there. One more. One more charm and we're done with this pattern. So after last charm, we put again spacer. Okay. <laughs> we put spacer. After spacer, we're going to need another bead. Now spacer and another um, jasper. Okay, so now we're ready to close our beading part. Make sure you have seven. And um, here we go. This part is ready. So we put our crimp. And we put a wire protector. And we're gonna just close our cream because in this part of necklace, uh, we can just play around because obviously we will have another side to adjust. All right, we take our plier and we just close it. Close it and close it. Okay, all right. And I would just put right away our um, protector just to close our crimp. And I'm just taking my plier. Okay, all right, guys, now I can adjust my beads. Close this um, extra wire and when I come through a few beads, I'm ready just to cut the rest. All right, so we go to other side. And now we put again our crimp and our wire protector. Okay. And up and down. up and down and here we have to adjust our project just walk it through a few beads make sure everything is make sure you can catch the rest of the wire it's right here uh oh 
And since it's heavy, now I have to adjust the whole thing like this. All right, when you make sure it's not too tight, not too loose, you're ready to press your crimp. Okay, and right away you can put your uh, crimp cover. And close it. There we go. Just make it as much round as possible. <laughs> okay, guys, and now it's time to cut our extra um, thread. So we're done with our beading part of necklace and now we can just adjust our, I mean, to, I mean, we can attach, sorry guys, our um, chain. So we take our jump ring, open the jump ring, my already opened, so I can just put my chain and attach it to uh, my wire protector and close it. Okay, the same thing we're gonna do from other side. We take our another, you can play with your chain. When you're ready to close, you just take your jump ring, put it to the end and put your uh, closure, your clasp. There we go. And the same thing we do from other side. Open up jump ring and put the uh, another part of our clasp and just close it. Okay, guys, our necklace is ready and this beauty we got. <laughs> okay, all right, so the next what we do. We're gonna make a um, matching bracelet for this um, set. So now we have to come up with with the following pattern. I'm sorry. We have to come up with this pattern, and for this uh, part of the project, again, we're gonna need our um, beading wire, and we we can just secure mm, spacer we take our jasper after this we have to take two spacers one and one and again we come with the jasper I don't know what's going on with the spacers. I don't know, it's only me guys, or you got the same thing, like just come of them really don't go through and you have to, to clean them with something. <laughs> okay, second one, and we do this part in fi five um, times. We need to attach five uh, jaspers. Again, if your wrist is small, maybe four will be enough. Uh, but for my wrist, definitely five. All right, guys, let me just put it closer to me again. Two spacers and Jasper. And one more time, two spacers and Jasper. After this, I'm gonna make the same thing that I made with my necklace. I'm gonna take one spacer and I'm gonna take my beautiful charm. And now the same thing I'm gonna repeat from other side. I'm gonna do my spacer, my jasper, 
my two spacers okay my two spacers and again my jasper two spacers space for myself all right so um we take our cream and we will use the wire protector crimp and wire protector sorry <laughs> and we will be closing again we go through wire protector and through crimp and just close it just put it a little bit through the beads in this case will be I will not be struggling with my beading wire okay and one more time all right okay now I'm ready to close here we go okay And now I want to put my, again, my wire, uh, my cream cover. And just press it. And now I'm ready to come to my uh, other side of bracelet. And I do the same thing. I put my crimp and I put my wire protector crimp and wire protector And again, I want to walk it through a few beads. And then I'm ready to adjust my bracelet and I'm just closing it with the pliers. And I want to put my cream cover our closure we're gonna need our lobster and we need attach our lobster to the jump ring we take our jump ring open it and we put the um, lobster inside and here we go all right and we just close our jump ring so now from other side we take our chain and we have to adjust chain to the uh, to the uh, beading part of the bracelet so we take the chain we take the jump ring and put everything together and just close it now guys optional um you you can put this charm in the end you can put even round charm in the end it's up to you whatever you prefer 
but if you want to leave it like this it's still fine so if you want to to attach some um charm i will show you what we can do you can use your eye pin if you have one but if apparently you don't have any um any eye pin but you have a regular pin so you just cut the top and you take your pliers and you can easily just make your own eye pin doing like this and here we go and you can put your uh, charm inside and then just to close your your uh, your I pin sorry guys and then we can just attach this to our um, chain so again we're gonna use our uh, plier make a loop put it inside and since I, I want it to be strong I don't want it to fly away fast so what we can do we just snap it with our uh, plier and we just twist and twist and make sure that our uh, charm is sitting strongly inside and to cut the rest all right guys our bracelet is ready too now we can just adjust it with your wrist and here we go the bracelet is ready the last part we will do the earrings for our earrings we're gonna need an eye pin and we're gonna need our um, bead and we're gonna need these beautiful charms I will start with the charm I will just open my eye pin and I want to put my charm inside and I want to close my eye pin Here we go. Let's make sure no everything is okay. <laughs> and then we can just put our jasper and we make a loop. When we make a loop, we can just cut the um, extra. And we put our uh, our earring wire inside and we just can cut uh, I'm sorry close the loop so we take pliers and we just closing our loop make sure there are no holes and nothing will come out Here we go all right guys and uh, now we can just adjust our earring if our uh, loops facing not right we can just adjust them and the earring is ready so the same thing we're gonna make from other side again we need our eye pin and we open our eye pin and we put the charm inside We close the pin we can put Jasper and I will show you another way how you can just mm, close it here your eye pin you just loop snap in the end of your uh, plier and you just twist and twist and you cut the uh, rest and now you just attach your uh, wire you open up the loop you put your earring and you just close your loop oh okay other side <laughs> okay yeah and we just close our uh, wire make like this 
and our earring is ready so guys we got the full set we got earrings we got our bracelet and we got our amazing beautiful necklace so if you like this tutorial please give me thumbs up consider to subscribe to my channel and i will, will see you shortly in my in my next videos stay safe bye bye